Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, Just Hunters Fan TV. I'm back at you another video at the content in this video. Go ahead and hit that like button, like the content in this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you on a daily basis. And we officially here, man. The first Ravens game day morning. Uh, Ravens versus yesterday at 1 o'clock Eastern. Uh, excited, pumped up for the game. I wanted to give three keys of victories really quick this morning to that should lead the Ravens to success and a victory today over the New York Jets. Now, look, the keys of victory are going to be a little basic because it's the start of a new season. Now, we have we don't know the Ravens' tendencies for this year all the way. We have an idea. We don't know the Jets' tendencies all the way, but we have an idea how they might play. So what I'm going to do is these three keys to victory, we're going to keep them basic. We're going to keep it simple, okay? The first one, the Ravens must dominate this Jets' offensive line. Now, the Jets' offensive line has been under construction pretty much his entire offseason, okay? Um... Left tackle, Makai Becton got hurt in the training camp. They end up signing veteran Dwayne Brown. Dwayne Brown gets hurt. Now, you got uh, George Fant, who was their right tackle. He's moving the left tackle last second. And he in their uh, press conference, God just looked up, you know, who was the Jets left tackle. I saw on Twitter that he was complaining about having to switch last second. So he doesn't sound completely confident in what's going on. The Ravens must attack that. At right tackle. The Jets are going to start Max Mitchell, fourth round pick of Louisiana from this year. So we got a left tackle who said he doesn't have enough time to prepare. And we got a right tackle who's a rookie fourth round pick. They need to dominate this offensive line. All right. Uh, especially on the edges. Now, I know the Ravens only have three um, outside linebackers active at the moment. And that's what the three they're going to go into the game with. So that is Odafi Owe. That is Justin Houston, and they activated Stephen Means off the practice squad, okay? Now, it's interesting, all right? Now, that only sounds like three guys, but I did read somewhere that I think a reporter said that, you know, obviously Malik Harrison has the capability to play outside, but I don't really think he's that kind of guy. But we'll see how the Ravens shuffle it around, shuffle it up, all right? Point being, this Jets offensive line is in slight disarray, especially in the tackle position, which is, the you know, to me, the two most important positions right there as far as the offensive line goes. So, Odafi Owe, Justin Houston, they need to win today. They need to win, all right? That's the first key to victory. Second key to victory, we're going to keep it in the trenches. The Ravens' offensive line must hold up against a very impressive Jets defensive line, okay? The Jets have guys like John Franklin Myers, Quentin Williams, Carl Lawson, and the rookie that they just drafted this year, Jermaine Johnson. Now, some of those guys might not be ho uh, household names. You may, you may have heard of, um, you know, Carl Lawson. But Quentin Williams, you know, first-round pick a couple years ago, started to come into his own. John Franklin Meyer, good player, solid player. Uh, and Jermaine Johnson, we know he's an explosive edge player from this past draft. Now, the Ravens have, I don't see offensive line issues, but they have a slight concern left tackle of their own, okay? Obviously, Ronnie Stanley's not playing. He was ruled out uh, yesterday, I believe, or maybe even two days ago. Um... That leaves Jawan James, who's probably going to be the starting left tackle. Jawan James hasn't played a real football game as far as, you know, regular season, starters versus starters. He played in the preseason this year in about two and a half years, okay? Uh, obviously, he missed the COVID year. You know, he opted out. Then he came back from that year and then tore his Achilles. So, just kind of been a long road to get to this point for Jawan James. Um, and the Jets are going to give the Ravens their uh, their first test of how good his offensive line is right off the bat, okay? No, no waiting no being eased into it. Good defensive line right here, all right? Um, in some ways, it reminds me of the Raiders game, right? Raiders game, I know me personally, I said, all right, look, I know offensive line isn't great right now, but I think we'll beat the Raiders. I'm not really too worried about that, all right? Max Cosby, uh, world national TV, and, and Bears, the offensive line, almost single-handedly with Yannick and Glockley on the other side. I don't want to see that repeat of that with uh, Carl Lawson on one side, John Franklin Myers with um, Jermaine Johnson, uh, Quentin Williams. I don't want to see these kind of guys who are on the edge and on the interior because Quentin Williams rushes up the middle. Um, I don't want to see these guys get off this game. I don't want to see that. So I need Jawan James to protect Lamar Jackson and have just a solid game. If Jawan James can be solid this game, not make too many mistakes, and just be good in pass protection, good in run blocking, the Ravens should win this game. All right? Now, last key to the game, um, I just mentioned his name, okay? It's uh, Lamar Lamar Jackson, Action Jackson, number eight. 
the quarterback needs to have a good game. All right. And that's that's why I say these keys to the game are very basic. Obviously, that's 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 an obvious thing. Lamar Jackson needs to have a good game. OK, um, but like I said, since it's the first week, we're going to keep the keys to victory very, very simple. All right. Lamar Jackson has spent most of this all season with his QB coach getting better. Um, you know, it's already a report. There's been reports all offseason, more zip on the ball, more velocity, this and that. Uh, Lamar Jackson, every offseason, when he comes back, he's a better passer of the football. All right. Don't read the box score. Use the eyes. Ravens fans, we know this. Okay. So I only expect him to go up a level this year. So, and that starts right here with the Jets. This Jets defense isn't bad. I named the defensive line. Middle line uh, linebackers. They got C.J. Mosley over there. Okay. Corners. Uh, Bryce Hall. Um, Sauce Gardner, first round pick. Uh, they got some other guys as well, all right? So this isn't like a bad Jets team. They got some talent. The Ravens are a better team, though. They need to win this game, all right? This is the kind of game where you say, I'm better than you guys. I'm not going to mess around with you. We're going to win this game, flat out. And that starts with number eight, man. It starts with Lamar Jackson. So um, at times last year, I felt like Lamar Jackson had to play hero ball because of all the injuries. And he wouldn't throw the ball away. He wouldn't check down. Things of that nature. This year, I hope I see some more of that. Checking the ball down, if, 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 if it's there, if it's available, that's what the option has to be. Um, throwing the ball away, not trying to make the Superman play every time, and I get it. You're Lamar Jackson. So I understand why you try to make the Superman play, but um, it is what it is when it comes to that. So Lamar Jackson has a good game, uh, passing the ball efficiently. Um, running the ball some, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Lamar Jackson running the ball uh, that much, especially on design runs, just because he's he's advanced so much as a passer. I'm not sure he needs to do that as often, but we'll see how Greg Roman does it. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, but look, efficient through the air, efficient on the ground, um, and the Ravens will win this game, man. So that's that's the three keys to victory. It's about the trenches. Can the Ravens uh, dominate this, this, this weakened Jets offensive line? Can the Ravens hold up against this strong Jets defensive line? And can Lamar Jackson start off this, this 2022 season, 2023 season in MVP form? Can we get can we get that guy? Can we get that guy? Those are the keys to victory, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. Go Ravens. I'm out.